The general election in Metro Detroit is less than one month away, and that means voters are gearing up to cast millions of ballots in another round of big races right here in Metro Detroit. And that includes the Detroit mayoral race, Dearborn mayoral race, and the state Senate seat in Macomb County. With elections around the corner, President Biden is making a stop in Metro Detroit tomorrow. The commander in chief will be visiting Howell, where he's expected to discuss his Build Back Better agenda. And tonight, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson is joining us live. We thank you so much for being with us tonight, Jocelyn. Thanks for having me. So our first question, is Michigan ready for the general election? You know, our clerks have done such extraordinary things over the past few years, particularly overseeing the most successful election last year in recent history with more people voting than ever before. So they've overcome so much in the midst of a pandemic. They're ready for November again, uh, and they're ready to, again, prepare to give citizens options, whether you vote from home or vote in person on Election Day. Our clerks are there to make sure your vote is counted and your voice is heard. Well, last night we saw Governor Whitmer veto four election bills at the NAACP dinner. What does that mean for the upcoming election? Well, nothing really. I mean, it means business as usual. It means the secure protocols that were in place in 2020 are, remain in place. It means your options for voting remain accessible. Uh, it means that the way democracy is working, which is really better than ever before based on the number of people participating, is going to continue in, in Michigan. And we're going to work to make sure that's the case, following the data, listening to what voters want, and delivering a democracy that's secure and accessible for all. Yep, and we still do have the pandemic in mind. Uh, any changes yeah. voters can expect when they cast their ballot or similar to last year? I think the, the same thing voters saw last year, they can expect again this year. Number one, they have options. They can vote absentee. And if they vote absentee, they can return their ballots through the mail, which they still have time to do, or at a local drop box, which are still in place in local, local uh, communities all across the state. And if they choose to vote in person on election day, we encourage them to wear masks. They'll very likely be met with poll workers wearing masks and having secure protocols in place as well to protect the health and safety of all. So we've been through this before. We know the drill and um, you know our clerks, our election administrators are true professionals as are our poll workers. And they're gonna be working just as hard as they did last year to make sure this fall's elections go just as smoothly, if not better, than before. Yep. Having our residents have access. Jocelyn Benson, thank you so much. Michigan Secretary of State joining us this evening uh, to talk about the upcoming election. We appreciate your time. And people can go to michigan.gov slash vote with any, any questions they have. All right. We appreciate it. Thank you again. Thank you.